Hello everyone. I'm here with my Shimoda X70 and I thought I would give a little bit of review, rundown since I've used it. Uh, I've been here now in Washington State for a little while and going on some pretty epic hikes and I thought I would give my uh, thoughts on this uh, Shimoda X70 bag. You know, there's a lot of hype about Shimoda and they have several different sizes, I think a 35, 50 and I went ahead and got the 70. The reason I went for the 70 is because I was going to, um, well I am going to use this when the weather gets a little bit better, it's winter now, but when the weather gets better and they, a lot of the roads around here are closed and everything's near the mountains because of the uh, massive amounts of snow they can get and, and just weather conditions. So once they open those up, I plan on using this for uh, photography, for holding photography gear and also camping. And so I wanted something that could hold a lot of gear because I'll not only have my camera gear in here, but I also have all my, my camping gear. So I don't have it loaded with all that now. Obviously I'm not camping now, but I have just to kind of get used to the bag and really get it set up and tweak it to how I want it, which is very important when you're talking about a bag that's going to be carrying quite a bit of weight. Uh, I've, been, I've been using this kind of exclusively, even if I'm going on a day trip, just so I, like I said, get used to it, see how it feels, how I like it. Uh, how, how it fits and have it has adjustments on it so you want to make sure that you uh, you know have it adjusted properly for your uh, bot your frame first impressions when I got the bag I thought wow this is great I mean it is it's big and there's a lot of there's I mean there's a lot of air room here for things and I thought you know it's gonna be great um, although you have to be careful not to overload it because yeah it is uh, a camera bag first and the way they have to set up camera bags so that they, they open in the back for your camera and things like that um, restricts what they can do as far as comfort uh, when you're carrying it so you want to make sure it's you know going to be the bag for you and feel yeah so I'm going to go through a little bit of what I what I have in here right now um, basically the one thing I would say off the bat is it doesn't have a lot of the way it has to be built doesn't have a lot of pockets, like storage pockets. I found that I need to buy like extra pouches to keep stuff in and then to put them in the bag so that there's not a lot of zipper pouches or places to put things. They have some large pouch areas, but again, if you have little you know, things for camera, little, little things here and there, or things for camping, your little things here, you want to be able to put those and not have to, you know, scrounge through the bag the whole time uh, trying to find those. So, yeah. But uh, anyway, it, it's, I will say this, it's definitely well built. Uh, it rains a lot here, obviously, and it's cold. And, but I've been out in the rain and I haven't had any issue with anything getting wet inside the bag or causing any kind of issue like that. So just a quick overview bag has a big straps here and here. I'm going to strap something on the back. Straps, strap there. A lot of different, like... You know, this is made for uh, action, adventure, outdoors people, so there's a lot of different places to hook things. Hooks here, 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 skis and snowshoes and all, all kinds of other things that you can hook on here. There's these rubber straps here on the sides here to help hold, I think, skis in there so they don't slip, slip out. Large pocket on this side, which can be for a tripod, has a strap here. I keep my uh, walking poles in there, and I also keep the actually the tripod that I'm filming on now. Just a very cheap Amazon tripod, very light, which is the reason I have it, and it fits in here too with the poles. So I do keep those in there on the side pocket, and this is a quite a big pocket. You have an adjustment here, a strap here to hold things in, and uh, it is a nice size pocket. But again, that's just one. Pocket. It would be nice if they had a couple of zipper pockets or something that you could put some smaller stuff in. You know, that's the only thing. So, then there's this big pocket in the front. This is quite a large pocket here. Folds down. Tissue paper, you never know. You're going to need that. Now, here there are two smaller pockets which I use for this one, this side, I use for lighters for my camping stove and matches, things like that. 
keep them nice and dry in there. And on this side I have my coffee. So I have my creamer and my my little coffee packs. I like to have coffee usually when I'm on the trail. Also, this pack does have this little side pocket here, which I don't at the current time I don't use for anything. And then there's this little pocket here, the front, which I keep my uh, water, my Sawyer water system in there. And that's again a fairly deep pocket. It just would be nice if there were some smaller pockets within that pocket, but, but I keep my Sawyer water system in there. And then in this big pocket, whoop, I keep my, this is a click, it's a chair. You know, a lot of times you're going out in the wilderness or whatever. This is probably something I don't usually need. I haven't actually even used it on the trail. I carry around it's pretty heavy. But, uh, you know, you never know when you might need it. And I've just been carrying it around so I can get used to that weight and see how it feels. But I haven't actually used it yet. I mean, I've sat in it, but I haven't actually needed it because a lot of times on the trails they'll have somewhere to sit or, um, you know, somewhere you can find a nice rock to sit on. But, yeah, but I wanted to have this chair just in case. And for longer trips, it's a little more comfortable than sitting on a rock. If you're staying overnight. Yes. Then I just have some odds and ends in here. Oh. Actually, some garbage I should throw away. Yeah. Um, some lotion, just in case. And I keep a shampoo in there. But this is uh, very rigid. It's a nice big pocket. Again. I just wish there was a little bit, some other smaller pockets inside there. Very well built though. On this side we have another large pocket. I keep my main tripod in here with a strap to go across there. It's another large pocket and adjusts here. So you can make it, I mean it's quite big. Uh, you can fit a lot of stuff in there. Again, you know, I wish there was just a, another small couple smaller pockets within there. I don't know how many times I'm going to say that because I just really don't understand why, why it doesn't like that. In the back here we have an adjustment here, size adjustment. I still haven't, you know, I started out on extra large, I've been on large, now I'm on medium. I don't think I'm going to definitely go down to small, but I think I'm going to adjust it back up to large. I've just been trying to play with it to see where, where it feels the best. But, you know, it has these big, big old straps. I mean, these things are monsters. And... These, uh, these adjustments on the top to help bring the bag up closer to you. And then it has these large uh, side waist hip huggers with, a, with pulls on those and adjustments. A little pocket here. Same on this side. Straps are big. Here I have my little tool for doing my uh, angle my right angle bracket on my camera, put on and off, and whatever I might need it for. Bottle cap opener, two there. In this spot, it's supposed to be for your phone, but my phone is the iPhone uh, Pro Max. It doesn't fit in there. So I keep my uh, multi-tool in there, and then I always put a, uh, uh, like a snack bar or something in there, you know, protein bar in there. That's where that goes. That's my little snack along the trip. And then this, this is a nice pouch for the water bottle. The sacrifice here is, these are huge. Like I have an Osprey bag, that's my hiking bag. Like if I just want, if I'm just going to take a camera, but I'm really just going hiking uh, and camping, it's my camping bag. It, well, it's a lot more comfortable than this bag, but it's made differently. It has a rigid bag. It's just, it's made for hiking and camping and it doesn't have to have like, you know, your camera gear place. And, but it's so much more comfortable than this. And the 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 the, the uh, shoulders aren't nearly as big. The shoulder straps here aren't nearly as wide or as big. But man, are they more comfortable? These are just massive. And you know, it's nice to have the water bottle there, but you give up. Like they they have a video of the like I think the founder of Shimoda or something of putting one of those uh, clips on there, like. Uh, you know, putting your camera clip on here, like a Peak Design camera clip. I'm, I'm telling you, where the way he had it, way up here and squunched in, it's not possible. 
the, the camera would be like shooting out in my face. I mean, it's not, it needs to be down here. You know, it needs to be at a place where you can get to the clip easily and take, it's just not possible on these. I can't, can't use it. I had to get a, a strap on. I can put it onto my Osprey, but I cannot get it onto this and have it in any way be comfortable at all. So that's kind of a downside. And the guy, like I said, the guy showed it. You can watch the video, but there's no way. These two, they're not great. I mean, they're padded nice, but they don't, I mean, I don't know. Just maybe, it's just maybe they don't hug your hips. Again, I, maybe I, you know, I'm, I'm making a, a, an unfair comparison, but my Osprey has, uh, these, they're like collapsible. They have some kind of, you know, they have a, like a spring to them almost, and they hug your hips, and they take so much of the weight off. I don't find that with this. And for as big as a bag as this is, you know, that's, it can be, it can be very heavy. So, um, in the top part, this, this is a cool part. I do like this. And then you can, so, you can open this. So it's cool. And then you have a zipper here so you can open just the top of it to get things out if you don't have fill all the way. So, that's for when I go bird, birding, I throw this over the top of me to get the birds to come closer. They don't see me. Yeah. This is from my last trip. I should probably take the empty water bottles out. I do keep some propane in here because I like to, like I said, I like to sit and have a coffee. So I keep my Stanley. This is a little pot with two coffee cups inside. Keep that in there. My little stove. Always a pair of extra socks. It's wet around here. I just found out too. My shoes on my last trip. My shoes are not waterproof. It's good to have an extra pair of socks. In case your feet, I hate having wet feet. You know when they're soaked and you gotta move. Now, but I'm, I'm, I'm assuming most people know how this works. You just unclip this. And this rolls out, so you can do it. You can access the ear if you don't want to unroll the whole thing. Or you can roll this thing out. You have access. And there's a zipper pouch in here. Where I keep my uh, long spoon. And I always keep, no matter where, just preparation. I always keep some food in there. Now I have, I think, three pouches of this in here because. Last time I was going out, I was thinking about maybe staying overnight. I thought I might need them, but I didn't. But I keep the food in here. So I have three. I said three pouches of food, and then a bar, which I keep some in here, and then one always in that space in the front. There. And uh, that's about all I keep back there. I just always keep these in here. You just never know. You'll be safe and sorry. Now I usually have my first aid kit in here out because I was replenishing some of the stuff. Then there's another big pocket in the front here that you can zip up. There's a couple of pockets in there. Again, very large though. Everything, all the pockets are very big, which I guess for some things, but yeah. So. But overall, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the bag so far. I'm definitely happy with how much stuff I did a test run, and I can't hold all of my uh, all my camping gear in here, so I can put my tent, um, my my sleeping pad, my sleeping pillow, my blanket. I can fit it all in here, which is good. So I'm happy about that. Comfort so far, man. I mean, the last time I took it out, and granted, yeah. Last time, was the last time I took it out? I mean, my shoulders hurt for three days. Um, I, I don't know if I, like I said, I just gotta see maybe I, if I need to change uh, how I'm carrying it, but um, yeah. I did buy some straps, some extra straps for this bag, some extra ones, uh, just because if I wanna strap something on the back or whatever, these are Shimoda straps, and I did find out something interesting. I had some, uh, I lost one of my straps, the half a strap for the uh, Low Pro. My Low Pro bag, it just, I don't know what happened to it. it, came off at some point. And 
Uh, I did find out that these are pretty much exactly the same as the low pro straps. You can actually use them. I mean, they're pretty much the same. And these are two of these I got for $8.95. The low pro ones are like $16.95. So I just brought an extra set of these, and now I got two for my low pro and two for uh, two for this bag, which I haven't used them yet, but I thought they'd be good to have. And I never know what I might want to think about probably strapping, maybe strapping my tent to the outside instead of putting it inside the bag just for a little bit more room. Okay, and the most important, well, not the most important, well, pretty much, yeah, maybe the most important. It's my camera set up now. Like I said, I usually keep my OM-1 with my 100-400 will fit here, but I usually hang that around my neck because as I'm hiking, I'm looking for wildlife, and so I don't want to miss a shot, so to have it in my bag and like I said, it's a pretty heavy bag. It's not the easiest to take on and off every second. You know, if I had my day bag, it'd be a little bit different. Um, but this does fit my OM-1 here, and I usually have my other body here. So, depending on what that's going to be. So, sometimes it's the OM-5 Mark II that I'm filming with now. Sometimes it's my uh, Panasonic G9. Well, most of the time it's the G9. And then, uh, in this pack, I also usually keep another body. So, I have three usually three bodies, two for photography and one for film, um, but because of weight sometimes, but uh, right now I have my, I had, the last trip I went on I took my um, film camera and so um, my Mamiya, and so this is the lens, this is a lens with a telephoto on it, so I had that in there. I keep my 50 to 200 Lumix lens in there. And this just changes depending on what I'm going to do. This last time I wasn't actually going on a hike. I was going to drive to a place, a short hike, but I didn't need to take the bag just to look around. More of an exploring mission. So I took a little more gear. I have 35 to 100 Panasonic. My 12 to 35 Panasonic. And then I have my Lawa that I always keep in there. So my 7.5 millimeter F2, I believe it is, Lawa. So that's in there, and I my mic system I keep in here, my extra uh, memory cards, you know, cloth, my uh, blower there. Um, I always have a light, headlamp. A lot of times I go out when I go hiking, I get there early in the morning. Then I have my Nisi filter system, and so that's pretty much what I keep back here. And then if I am going on a, sometimes I'll throw my iPad in here, but uh, so it's nice for that. It'll fit a decent sized computer in here, but laptop, but I don't ever take a laptop. The most I'll ever take is the uh, iPad. So, and this is, a, this is nice. I mean, it's nice that you can lay it on the ground and, you know, your back doesn't get dirty. I mean, you can see how clean this thing is. The back is nice and clean. Yeah, the other side isn't so clean because that's what sits down on the wet ground. And then I do keep in here on my batteries. So this pouch has all my batteries in it. I just keep that right above. Now I did get, I didn't get the pack. I this this is the actually the large, not the extra large, that comes with the uh, pack, the, the X70. So if you buy the X70 with the starter pack, you get the extra large. I just got the large, and the reason I did that is for my camping gear. If I have a lot of camping gear and stuff, I didn't want this to be too big that it would uh, inhibit the space I would have for my all my other gear, and this is plenty of space for camera gear, uh, especially if I'm going on a hike, it's plenty of room, plenty of space, so I'm not, and like I said, because I keep my one camera out, so I can actually put another camera in there if I wanted, but a lot of times what I'll just do is I have a pouch with odds and ends, uh, stuff I might need, um, you know, little caps or um, you know, tripod mounts and stuff like that, and I'll throw that in the middle here. And that's pretty much what I use. So, anyway, um, you know, if I had to rate this pack at this point, I would probably give it three and a half to four stars. Um, just because the comfort, I just don't think the comfort level is there. And I'm working on that. And maybe we'll get to a point where it is a little bit more comfortable. Would like, like I said, a few more pockets in there uh, for little stuff, odds and ends. But, I mean, overall, I think it's a good pack. I think it's durable. We'll see. I've had it for what? six months now so you know we'll see over time uh, maybe in three years if it still looks like this then hey 
I do wish it had um, the rain cover came with it. I think for as much as you pay for this pack, it's one thing I like about Low Pro. They keep their rain cover right in the back, and you can flip it over. I do think it should have come with a rain cover, but uh, yeah. So that's my review or my experience. Not so much a review, but my experience with this pack so far. Although I did give it some stars, so I guess you could call it a review. Uh, that's an ongoing thing. I mean, I don't think, you know, it depends on how, how much longer I have this and how it works for me and if it gets better and how durable it is. And I mean, that, that rating can go up. I'm just going off of a six-month rating of how I feel it is. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I would say it's, it's, a, it's a good pack. I think it lacks a little bit in comfort, but makes up for a little bit of that, hopefully, in the durability. I think it's built well, and it handles my camera gear nicely and, and does pack a lot of stuff, which, again, is going to make it a little bit heavier. But if it's allowed to pack that much, you would expect a little more comfort from, uh, and I haven't seen that so far. Um, and maybe pro part of the problem could be that I had the Osprey first, and that thing is so comfortable. I, I, I can carry, I've carried a lot of weight in that thing. Um, it's an Osprey Atmos 50. I mean, I've carried, geez, 40 pounds in that thing. I have 35, 40 pounds, and, and it hasn't been bad. I mean, it's not light. I mean, it's still, you got to trek it around, but uh, it doesn't feel nearly, my shoulders didn't hurt nearly as bad as they did on this one. So, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this helps somebody out if they're thinking about maybe buying one of these. I wouldn't say not to buy it. Um, I would definitely say it's it's worth worth the worth the uh, worth the money as far as buying it, but uh, you know just uh, some of those little th caveat things that. But nobody makes anything that's perfect. So, all right. Well, in the interest of time and me, we're just rambling here. I uh, thanks for watching.